Okay, so uh, now we have reached the fourth subtopic called the conservation of angular momentum. Okay, let us discuss this question. Figure above shows two circular discs. This A is stationary, while this B is rotated, uh, rotates with angular velocity 150 radian per second. Okay, initially A is not moving, but B is rotating. Moment of inertia of A and B about axis, which pass through their centers are 0 0.5 and 0 0.3 kilometers square respectively. So given their moment of inertia, okay, IA and IB. Now uh, A is moved towards the B, moved towards the B until it touches B. Okay, A later combined with B. Because friction exists between the surfaces. They finally rotate together. Uh, now they combine, they rotate together with the same angular velocity omega. So omega is the final angular velocity. Final angular velocity after they combined. If no other external force acts on them, uh, determine the angular velocity omega. That, mean, that means he want to find the uh, the he want to find the final Final angular velocity. Final angular velocity uh, after they combine. So uh, we have the initial, initial uh, angular velocity and also given the IA and IB moment of inertia. So now, what to do? Uh, okay. So we use conservation of angular momentum. Uh, we use conservation of angular momentum. So uh, this is the IAIB. Uh, this I picture out the situation. It's always a, a good practice to picture out our situation in the physics huh? so that we have a clear picture. And once we have the clear picture, we can use the right concept, right principle to solve our question. Isn't it? Uh, so always picture out our situation in a simpler terms. Okay. So we have the B is rotating initially with this initial angular velocity. Now they combine A and B. What is the final angular velocity? So this one uses conservation of angular momentum. Uh, this uh, in linear motion we also have conservation of momentum. Uh, so this is similar. In in fact, momentum in uh, linear motion, uh, linear motion we have uh, p equal to m b. Um, P is the momentum. Uh, now L, we use L in rotational motion. We use L for angular momentum. Then mass is like moment of inertia. Velocity is like omega. Uh, okay. Uh, so this time we use L. We use I omega. So total initial momentum, angular momentum equal to total final angular momentum. So they are I omega initial equal to I omega final. All right. Initially, what is rotating? Which this has the momentum? Yeah, A is not rotating. Initially, it's only B. So, initially, it's only B. So, I initial is IB. I initial is IB. And then, omega initial is 150. Uh, 150. Okay. 150. Uh, mind just I, I don't want to put in the value first. Just put as omega omega i. And then final final uh, moment of inertia is the combined. They combine together. So we have i a plus i b uh, plus together. Uh, they are moment of inertia. And then we want to find the omega final, isn't it? Okay, as we can see, if the moment inertia has increased, it becomes heavier. It becomes heavier, of course, it rotates slower. You surely get the final angular velocity less than the initial. Uh, if this is 150, maybe final you get maybe only 100. Instead of 150, you get only 100. Some assumption, yeah? Uh, so when, uh, you, know, you know, when the IB only with small moment inertia, you have higher angular velocity. When you have higher moment inertia, high moment inertia, 
lower angular velocity is always like that conservation of angular momentum okay now let's put in the value of ia ib ib i have 0 0.3 okay just put in a value 0 0.3 initial angular velocity is 150 150 and then ia plus ib 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3 And then final, angular velocity. So happy that we can solve the question, isn't it? So I get 56.25 um, radian per second. Yes, that's the final angular velocity. Is it smaller? Is it smaller than 150? Whoa, it's definitely smaller, slower than 150. It's only 56 uh, radian in one second. He turned only in one second. In one second, you only turn this amount of radian, this amount of angle. Last time, in one second, he can turn, and can turn 150 radian. Yeah, this time one second only turn 56 radian. So very slow, becomes slower because it becomes heavier, become heavier. Conservation of angular momentum. Now, um, let us look at the the next question. The energy dissipated in this process. Uh, what is the energy dissipated? So the energy dissipated, uh, delta K. Um, okay, let's um, dissipated. Uh, initially, they only have the kinetic energy, isn't it? So we just find the changes in their kinetic energy, uh, the decrease in their kinetic energy. The decrease in kinetic energy is converted to heat energy, energy loss, energy dissipated. So we just find the change in the kinetic energy so we just use the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy which is the change in kinetic energy so um, you know kinetic energy we have translational rot uh, and rotational last time we learned about translational which is half mv square now rotational motion for rotational motion uh, yeah rotational motion uh, we have mass is like i, v is like omega. Uh, we have half i omega squared. When something rotate, oh, oh sorry, when something going left and right, it has translational kinetic energy, half mv squared. But when something rotate, like this, 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 this is rotating, it has uh, rotational kinetic energy, rotational kinetic energy, which is half i omega squared. Use the moment of inertia and the angular velocity. Good. So, find a kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. So, we use half i omega square final minus half i omega square initial. So, just uh, put in all the values. Uh, final, we have, uh, you know, the IA plus IB. I, IA plus IB. Finally, they attach together, combine together. Uh, 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 and then the omega final uh, minus uh, initially is just the b rotating so just ib uh, so you just put in the values that you already had this is a uh, ia is a uh, ia is 0 0.5 you know uh, 0 0.5 plus uh, ib is 0 0.3 and then omega final is uh, what you get just now 56.25 square minus half uh, IB is uh, 0 0.3. Uh, omega initial is 150. Okay, yeah. So, what is the energy? I got negative 2109.38 Joule. Ah, why is it negative? Negative means kinetic energy decreases. Uh, kinetic energy decreases and the changes is the changes is the kinetic energy decrease why the kinetic energy decrease because loss of kinetic energy change to uh, heat energy and dissipated loss so the energy loss is so just one the value how much energy is lost uh, 2109.38 joule this amount of energy is lost no need to put the negative the negative last time it just means something decrease the changes is decrease so this time i just want to find the amount 
the amount of energy loss so the amount no need sign amount amount of energy loss is just uh, just put positive just want the size the, the amount loss uh, so uh, so which is also 2.1 kilojoule yeah and this is a uh, two exponent three so kilo uh, okay so now uh, is it correct uh, so far my omega final 56.25 yes this is what to find my kinetic energy loss is uh, 2.1 kilojoule yes energy loss is 2.1 kilojoule okay good now um what happened to the dissipated energy uh, so the energy is heat yes kinetic energy uh, has decreased decreased why because it converted to heat energy and dissipated or loss okay uh, so that's it yeah for uh, conservation of angular momentum so you learn something new the momentum is i omega rotational kinetic energy is half i omega square so when the moment inertia increase omega will decrease based on the conservation of angular momentum okay and yeah so when something decrease uh, mostly it's because it convert to other form of energy which is heat energy loss okay thank you for your time watching i'm so appreciate love you all see you in the next uh, upcoming videos bye